They're currently at $2.46 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 89.84% increase. Hey guys, welcome to the June 24th through June 28th winning stocks. You know I like to start this series with the S&P 500, the Dow, and the NASDAQ because those three let us know the state of the entire market. And we see with the S&P 500 that it started a streak again for the last few weeks, but it moved sort of sideways this week in a negative week. The same thing, we sort of down moved up some, moved down, and sort of moved sideways. We see a green candle here, but still a sideways move. And now we had a slightly negative week this past week. And we see for the NASDAQ moved up for a number of weeks and then two weeks was sideways including this last week so if we look at the S&P 500 the Dow and the Nasdaq we see that this week wasn't a climber it wasn't a week that necessarily moved up now let's look at the stocks on our watch list but before doing that we want to take a look at the app which we've gotten these stocks from as of lately. And as we jump over to the Stock Sage app, we see that this app pulls up stocks that are at their annual low price and they have three or more years of positive earnings. We go down the list, we see many of them have five years. We want to see the companies that not just have five years positive earnings, but those five years are actually moving up from one year to the next. But as we move down this list, we see one stock that was recently added to it, which is a pretty popular name and that is Nike just fell to their 52 week low $2.55 in 2019 $1.63 in 2020 $3.64 in 2021 $3.83 in 2022 and three dollars and thirty seven cents in twenty twenty three and if we go inside just to look at the current earnings per share we see that the current earnings per share is three dollars and forty cents but in any event with this Stock Sage app, not only do you see the stocks with positive earnings for the last five years, you can also narrow it down. Stocks with current assets above current liabilities, which should make that list a little bit shorter. Stocks with five years of stock buybacks which should make that list a little bit shorter and then stocks with profit margins greater than 10 percent which should make that list a lot shorter now we're down to three companies diamond hill investment group one that you've probably never heard of but all the fundamentals are pretty sound 
Then there is Diageo. Diageo, if you think of just about any drink that you may drink or like, they, they're probably made by Diageo. And then the last thing we can do is say, well, just give me stocks with a 4% dividend yield or higher, which is very few stocks. But if we click on that, now it brings us down to one hill, one stock, which is Diageo, an investment group, I mean, I'm sorry, Diamond Hill an investment group that has five-year stock buybacks, current assets greater than current liabilities, and above a 10% profit margin for all five years, as well as a greater than 4% dividend yield. But in any event, Let's move on and go back to our watch list. And first on our watch list is Liberty Broadband Corporation, sort of, sort of moving in a sideways pattern. They're still moving in at that, but they sort of broke above where they were this last week. We want to see if they continue to move higher. Now, this company has an earnings report dropping on August 2nd or later that week. They're currently not on our watch list, but we included them in this series. That's why you're not seeing any stars for them. But the stock is currently at $54.60 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $99.14 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 81.58% increase. Next, we have Concentrix Corporation. Also not on our watch list, but we included them in this series. They have an earnings report dropping on um September 25th or later that week like we say an earnings report could sort of be like going to a casino it comes out great the stock price drops it comes out bad the stock price drops in any event this stock is at $63.28 Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $88.80 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 40.33% increase. We have Varex Imaging Corporation. They have an earnings report dropping on July 30th or later that week. This is a $14.73 company. It's a one star. Yahoo analysts estimate it can move up to $23.25 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 57.84% increase. We have Interparfums. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 6th or later that week. They're currently at $116.03 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $165.60 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 42.72% increase. We have Heritage Global. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 8th or later that week. They're currently at $2.46 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate 
they can move up to $4.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be an 89.84% increase. Notice they've been moving sideways, broke slightly above it this week. Progeny, progeny. They are a one star. Currently, with an earnings report dropping on August 1st to later that week, they're currently at $28.61 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $37.63. In the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 31.53% increase. We have gambling.com. They are one star. They have an earnings report dropping on August 15th or later that week. They've already moved up two weeks we want to see what they continue to do they are currently at eight dollars and 22 cents yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to twelve dollars and 86 cents in the next 12 months if they do that will be a 56.45 percent increase we have steven auto group they are a one star. They had an earnings report which dropped on May 9th. Sort of moving in a sideways pattern. They're currently at $18.34 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $28.12 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 53.33% increase. We have WTI, which is WNT Offshore, dealing in oil. They are a no star. They're not that fundamentally sound, so they're not on our watch list. But they have earned support dropping on. July 30th or later that week. Currently at $2.14 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $10 in the next 12 weeks. If that happens, that will be a 367.29% increase. Tegna Inc. They are a two star. They have an earnings day dropping on August 7th. And notice they're moving up for their second straight week. They currently uh, currently have a share price at $13.94. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $19.13 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that will be a 37.23% increase. We have Cisco Systems. They are a three star. Currently have uh, earnings report dropping August 14th or later that week. They are currently at $47.51 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate them moving up to $54.79 in the next 12 months. If that happens, that would be a 15.32% increase. We have Southside Bank shares. They are a two-star. 
Moving up for the second straight week. Currently, I have our earnings support dropping on July, July 23rd or later that week. They're currently at $27.61 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $31.33 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 13.47% increase. We have Tootsie Roll. They are a two star. Have an earnings report dropping July 24th or later that week. Now, they are currently at $30.57 a share. Yahoo doesn't have an estimate, but my estimate, based on PE ratio, is that they can move up to $44.47 in the next 12 months. If they do that, that will be a 45.47% increase. We have Haverty Furniture. They have an earnings support dropping on July 30th or later that week. They move down this week, but move back up at the end of the week only slightly. But we want to see if that results in them continuing to move up. They're currently selling for $25.29 a share. Yahoo analysts estimate they can move up to $36.67 in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 45% increase. We have Energy Recovery. They are a two-star. They have an earnings report dropping on July 31st, 31st or later that week. We see that they've been moving down, but they had one positive week this week. We want to see which way they continue to go. They're currently at $13.29. Yahoo Allen's estimate they can move up to $20.50 per share in the next 12 months. If they do, that will be a 54.25% increase. And that's it for our, this week's winning stocks this week, guys. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video and have a great night.